What's up guys, welcome to another episode of EP Life. Here at EP Life we talk about lifestyle, media reviews, and future mom life. Today's an exciting day. Today we have our honest reaction, as well as our predictions for the new Cruella movie that was announced by Disney day before last, and the trailer dropped today, this morning. And... Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom, hit that bell button, that way you're notified of any future videos here with EP Life. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video by watching the Cruella trailer that dropped this morning. Here we go. From the very beginning, I realized I saw the world differently than everyone else. That didn't sit well with some people. But I wasn't for everyone. I guess they were always scared that I'd be a psycho. <laughs> new opportunities and I was ready to make a statement how does the same go I am woman hear me roar but I'm just getting started darling Born bad. And a little bit mad. <laughs> intrigued now a lot of people have been talking about and I'm not sure the viewers watching this video right now are some of those people a lot of people are kind of PO'd at Disney because Disney has been making all of these live-action remakes like Jungle Book Beauty and the Beast and Peach Dragon now there are other people that are like me that actually love these live-action films now what I will say is this in my opinion Again, mixed emotions out there on the internet. In 2014, Disney came out with Maleficent. And when first starting to watch Maleficent... Yes, I know this is a Corolla trailer. Give me a second. Hear me out here. When Disney came out with Maleficent and I watched Maleficent for the first time, I had mixed emotions. Kind of paused it in the middle. Kind of bored me. It wasn't until watching it again that I was like, wow, this is a nice way to revamp the story of Sleeping Beauty, but also censoring it around a different character. And I think that is what Disney is trying to do with Cruella. So what we see here opening is we see Emma Stone going ahead and starting at what looks like a fashion agency. And it looks like she's working for someone and again, eventually goes mad. But what really intrigues me with this is the two cameos. You've got one here of them on the ropes and one here of them in the truck. Uh, what appears to be Jasper and Horace, which if you're not familiar, are the two guys in 101 Dalmatians, the cartoon that Cruella hires to kidnap the puppies, the Dalmatian puppies. Now... I'm actually looking forward to this movie and the reason why is evil isn't born it's made right so what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a young Cruella and I say it that way because is that really her name or does that become her name a young woman that is it appears that something happens to make her the way that she is which probably leads to that big fire we see in that building 
um, which I believe is Hell Hall, at the end of the trailer. So I'm definitely looking forward to this movie. This is definitely something I want to see. I am hoping that Disney does not, in my opinion, make the mistake, again, my opinion, don't shoot me, of the whole premiere access thing like they did with uh, Mulan that came out last year. Mulan was supposed to come out in the movie theaters, I believe in May, but due to COVID-19, due to the pandemic, they went ahead and moved it straight to Disney+. Plus. However, you had to, you needed to have a Disney Plus membership along with a premiere access, which you paid a one-time fee of $29.99. You were able to see the movie the day it premiered on Disney+. Plus. Or you could have just waited like I did until November to watch the movies for as much as you want, which is now still on Disney+. Plus. I hope they don't do that with Cruella. It looks like it has potential, but I don't feel that it's going to be one of those movies that's worth it. Mulan was severely and heavily amped up. Like, a lot of people were anticipating this movie. The art looked beautiful. The movement, the martial arts, all looked so incredible to the eye that so many people of all different type of all different types of movie lovers couldn't wait to see this movie. I don't feel, and again, this is the first trailer, too soon to assume, right? But I don't think Cruella is going to be one of those movies. It does come out in May. We don't know for sure whether it's going to be straight to Disney+, Plus, movie theater, and Disney+, Plus, just movie theater, until it's released on digital, Blu-ray, DVD, etc. And then Disney+, Plus. not sure exactly what they're going to do, but if I had to predict, the woman coming out of the car at the beginning and again this is for people that are familiar with the uh 101 dalmatians uh cartoon that disney made but also the 101 dalmatians original live action that came out in the 90s with glenn close now i know what a lot of people are thinking here too when i before i saw this trailer i started to read comments you know they say don't read the comments I started to read the comments before seeing the trailer and a lot of comments I was seeing was okay this is Disney's version of Joker by Joaquin Phoenix and they felt that you know oh why Emma Stone I have nothing against Emma Stone I love her in several movies um everybody feels that you know 101 Dalmatians was better off left alone because everybody pictures when they see Cruella Glenn Close as Cruella de Vil. Mm -hmm. Now, and she was also in 101 Dalmatians and as, as well as 102 Dalmatians. But furthermore, the way I see it is this. Um, and again, this is if you've seen the live action 101 Dalmatians or even the cartoon. The woman that they're showing coming out of the car in the flashy, you know, eyewear and, you know, the flashy coat. If I had to guess, I feel that that's Anita. And I think that this is an origin story, obviously, like I said, of how Cruella became Cruella, but also why she chooses to dye her hair the color she chose, black and white, the color of the Dalmatians. Does she have a vengeance against Anita by something that Anita does in this fashion industry, which leads her to go ahead and steal the Dalmatian puppies? I'm very curious to see how she goes from good to bad or what she says brilliant to bad to mad and I'm always one for quotes and I that definitely stuck out to me there's a, there's also the I am woman hear me roar and I feel like in the time that we're in in a generation what a good time to have a woman idolized in a Disney movie but also I'm very curious to see how Jasper and Horace come into play. There is never a introduction to who Jasper and Horace are or how they met in any of these movies. And again, it's a cartoon movie. Who really cares? The point is, they're the two doofy guys that are hired to kidnap these puppies, right? And what, I think it's 25 puppies and then it becomes 100 puppies because they just start stealing these puppies from everywhere. So I feel that... We're definitely going to get some inside of Disney's, you know, mindset of how Jasper and Horace come into play with Cruella and also how Cruella becomes Cruella, how she goes brilliant to bad to mad 
and also how she pursues the, you know, rep that she has. I believe that this is going to be a one-off movie. You know, we also thought the same thing with Maleficent, and then Male Maleficent came out with the sequel to Mistress of Evil after the fact. I want to say, what, two years after? Three years, I'm going to go ahead and pop in um, the time span between Maleficent, the first one, and Maleficent, the second one. But I feel that Cruella is definitely going to be a standalone. And I feel like it's the universe, like, you know, answering my prayers. Because I'm going ahead and doing a week of these live action movies and comparing them to the cartoon and what I think. But I was thinking, wow, where's the 101 Dalmatians remake? And then I started to lose hope because I was like, you know what? To be fair, we did get one with Glenn Close's Cruella. Worked out fine. She played an amazing Cruella, a notorious Cruella. Played the role very well. Uh, but somebody like me who's a Disney buff that sees these characters in multiple points of view, like you have the Cruella in the cartoon, the Cruella as Glenn Close, uh, well, Glenn Close playing Cruella, but you also have other makes of Cruella de Vil, like in the TV series Once Upon a Time, Cruella de Vil is in there as well, and you're also able to see how Cruella became Cruella from a child. Um, so that's definitely something that I would suggest watching to get a different perspective of Cruella. But again, definitely looking forward to this movie. Praying that it goes straight to Disney Plus again with this pandemic. I personally don't want to be in a movie theater depending on safety conditions, but we shall see. But whether it's in a movie theater, whether it's in Disney Plus, depending on how this virus goes, this is definitely a movie that I would leave the house to go see. Um... I feel the trailer gave just enough. Um, I feel that the main concern for the audience right now is Emma Stone. I think we should take a step back and see how she does. I feel that it's something that she could definitely play off, especially going from the innocent redhead that we saw at the beginning of the trailer to seeing the eye makeup smeared, you know, half black, half white hair. I'm Cruella. I'm um look at the end so i definitely feel that she has potential and i'm definitely not giving up hope yet but again guys that is my um honest reaction and prediction for cruella thank you so much again for watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe to the channel hit that bell button that way you're notified if there's any further videos here on ep life go ahead and drop down in the comments what did you think of the trailer what did you think of my predictions would you like to see another video another live reaction as well as another prediction when another trailer comes out go ahead and drop down in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you guys again so much for watching this is ep life peace